Welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate, analyze and interpret return on total assets ratio. So return on total assets ratio will tell you what is the return that a company earns on its total assets. To explain this concept, I am using statement of a profit and loss account of two textile manufacturers in India. Return on total assets ratio is calculated using an equation that is profit for the year you can say that net profit upon total assets. So this total assets includes both non-current assets as well as current assets and whether the profit for the year is your profit after tax. To explain this ratio, I sourced statement of a profit and loss account and balance sheet of Raymond's India Limited. So here this is a company and you can see that Raymond Limited and data for two financial years. One is the year ended 31st March 2019 and second is 31st March 2020 and all the amounts are in rupees lakhs. So using this equation, we will calculate return on total assets. For this purpose, I source two companies uh, statements of profit and loss account and balance sheet. One is a Raymond Limited. So here uh, is a company Raymond Limited. For Raymond Limited, the statement of a profit and loss account, which shows the data for a two years, that is 31st March 2019 and 31st March 2020. And your numerator is profit for the year. So here we have a profit for the year. So profit for the year for 2019 is 7,381.78. And for 2020, this is 9,431.62. Whereas the total assets are here. So the total assets for the year 2019 is 425,721. And uh, for 2020, this is 467,840. So first we'll take the values of a uh, Profit for the year 7,381.78. So here your uh, profit for the year this is 7,381.78 for 2019 and for 2020 this is 9,431.62. Then your uh, total assets 425.721, 425.721. Four sixty-seven, eight forty. Just I am taking a rounded numbers, but uh, actually you need to take a decimal values also. Using this, we calculate return on total assets. So this equals to seven three eight one point seven eight upon four twenty five seven twenty one into hundred. So this is equal to one point seven three percent return on total assets is. 1.73 percent for the year 2019 whereas for 2020 this is 9431.62 upon 467.840 into 100 so this is uh, 2 percent so the return on total assets of Raymond is hardly 2 percent in 2020 and 1.37 percent in 2019 this is a very uh, low return on assets because the returns that the company earned is a very minimal that is a 7,381.78 million whereas uh, for 2020 this is 9,431.62 lakhs. However, the company is sitting on a huge assets that is especially the property plant and equipment is very uh, high. If you observe here 121,485 lakhs here whereas for 2019 this is 106 1,512 lakhs and total investments in, in subsidiaries also very high that is a 46,410 lakhs here and 37,819 lakhs and other financial assets even investments uh, trade receivables so the assets are very high for Raymond's however their returns are very low that means the company is not uh, able to capitalize on its total assets this is uh, for the case of a uh, Raymond Limited and we look at the other company this is a uh, well spun and uh, here we have for this company again we have a data for two years so your uh, profit after tax or a profit for the year is 1417 and 4748 and all this rupees in rupees million and then uh, the total assets so current assets and total assets are 62,000 212 in both the years more or less so if you see here 62,000 and 62,000 
So using these values, we calculate return on uh, total assets. So we'll take uh, uh, values for 2019 and uh, 2020. So your return, that is uh, your uh, profit for the year is 1,417.65 and 4,748.92. Whereas total assets, 62,638, 62,638, 82, and 62,212, 62,212.12. 62, so your return on total assets ratio, this equals to 1417.65 upon 62 638.82 into 100 so this equals to 2.26 2.26% and then for 2020 this is 4748.92 upon 62 212.12 into 100 this is 7.6 so for 2020, the uh, utilization of assets were very poor, that is 22.26%, whereas in 2020, there is a improvement, that is a 7.63%. When comparing with the financial year 2019, in 2020, there is a slight increase in utilization of assets to generate uh, profits. Even then, the profit generated using the assets are very minimal, that is 7.63% and 2.26%. If you look at the balance sheet of the company here also again the company is sitting on a huge pro uh, property plant and equipment which is near about 23,044 uh, million and here it is 25,740 million similarly the company is also uh, having a inventories of a 10,000 uh, million and trade receivables of 7,000 million and other financial uh, assets uh, of a 2,697 million so the assets, the company is having a huge assets. However, the company is not able to make enough for profits uh, using these assets. That is the reason why the, uh, the return on total assets ratios were very minimal. And if you compare these two companies, both are into the same uh, manufacturing of uh, textiles. In case of uh, Raymond, it's a very poor uh, performance, we can say, because their ratio is 1.73% and 2%. Comparing with Raymond, Wellspun has got a uh, uh, little better uh, uh, performance in terms of return on total assets. For this company, the return on total assets is 2.26% and 7.63%. However, Raymond has sitting on a huge uh, uh, assets, that is a property plant and equipment and all, but it is not capitalizing. Same is case with the Wellspun also. But uh, when comparing with Raymond, Wellspun is little uh, better. But these two actually not generating enough uh, uh, profits using utilizing their total assets so this is how you need to calculate analyze and interpret return on total assets ratio thank you thank you for watching the lecture